Hey everybody, welcome to TacosTheGeeks.com Reviews and today I'm going to be reviewing Assassin's Pride Episode 1 which is entitled Mercy of an Assassin and we are here at Fall Anime 2019. I will say the summer anime was absolutely amazing with Dr. Stone, The Secret Abandoned Beast and very more. So let's see what the fall has in store for us. So let's kick it off with Assassin's Pride. As always, I give you a brief synopsis of the show. So here we go. Only those from noble families had the mana to be able to fight against monsters. Kufa, and I probably botched that name, I'm sorry, is a noble born to Duke's family who is sent to tutor a young woman named uh, Murda. It turns out that Murda has no talent with mana. Kufa is secretly instructed to assassinate her. And you know what? I will have to say it's a few rough spots, but you know what? For the most part, I did enjoy myself. And I... I think the problem I had with this episode was the pacing. Episode 1 starts off with a fantastic, fantastic open sequence fight scene that really got me engaged. I was like, oh man, this is this is how you kick off an action anime. It was some really cool, uh, cool moves from our protagonist and then just goes like, alright, I'm hooked. I'm in it. I'm in it. Then it slows down tremendously. The pace and the tone just stops. And we're focused on our second protagonist, Myrna, who basically is this young girl who dreams of being able to join the elite, uh, this elite group to battle monsters, but she doesn't have any mana. She doesn't have any powers as we know right now. So she's been going to, so they, the family enlists, um, Kufa to help trying to channel her, train her to channel that mana that they all believe is in her. And that's basically the whole premise of this episode. And while good, I will say there's a couple of things that just I felt wasn't, it wasn't for me. I mean, the whole focus on her, and you know, we had to establish her character. I get it. But the way they started off the tone, I thought they were, I thought this was going to be fast paced. I mean, the pace slowed down tremendously and it didn't pick up towards the end. And it wasn't really even a set satisfying ending to the first episode. But I will have to say that the way they built the world, the rules of the world, and I like how only the nobles or this elite class of people are able to wield this magic known as mana. And everybody else is just, they're just kind of average. So I do like the fact that not everybody has this gift, which I thought was cool. And not to make a comparison, think about it as kind of like the Jedi. Uh, you know how the Jedi are only, uh, the Jedi and the Sith are the only ones able to use the Force and someone who's not like Han Solo will not be able to use the Force and stuff like that. Think of something like that or someone like who has magic powers or materia if you're thinking Final Fantasy or things like that. And I did enjoy Koopa's character. I do like the little twist that he has to kill her now that he knows that she doesn't have any mana. And he's got to make this conscious decision. That's why it's called Mercy of an Assassin, whether to kill her or not to kill her. I did like that dynamic. I'm hoping that this dynamic is going to be the main focal point as we go forward into the series. The voice acting I thought was very solid as well. I thought the Japanese dub was really good. Um, I did like the animation of this. I do like the kind of cast system that we seen a lot of these type of fantasy anime action animes, but I will say this. The uh, main character Kufu kind of reminds me of the character so art online just from an art design standpoint, but overall that's just me being nitpicky. Um, is this something that I will recommend that you watch now? Like is it an anime that yeah, you gotta watch this. I'm gonna say you can put this in your queue. It starts off with a bang, but then as we have to explore and set up the world, it drags a little bit because we have to focus on Merdia and her plight of not getting mana. I mean, they do have some emotional beats in there, but for me, it just wasn't enough for me to keep engaged until the fight sequence happens again. And then we just go back into Kufa and his storyline. I think he's a more interesting character because you had this assassin. What was his backstory and everything else? So that, I will say, I wanna, I'm want i really curious to see how they're going to explore that. But overall, I'm going to say add this to the queue. 
And this is just a generous add it to the queue. I'm not going to give it a skip it, but I'm not going to give it a, a must watch. I would say add it to the queue for later. You'll probably find something else that you might want to watch on Crunchyroll. So this is Justin from AtakasTheGeeks.com, and this has been our review of episode one of Assassin's Pride. Stay tuned for more reviews at AtakasTheGeeks.com. Later days.